Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about the Annihilators and their official introduction into the MCU, along with who can be a part of the team and which villains they'll face. If you're new to the channel, I do daily Marvel videos, so be sure to subscribe to never miss out. Let's get started. I've had this theory for a while, but I unfortunately never got around to it. Throughout Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and the future, the Guardians will go through some major changes, eventually becoming the Annihilators. Now what I think will happen is that we all know Scarlet Witch will try to bring back Vision in WandaVision, but what if she accidentally or unknowingly brings back Ultron, an upgraded and more powerful version? This could eventually lead to her death and the beginning of the Ultimatum storyline, and it could lead to the Annihilators being formed. We could then see bits and pieces from the Annihilation, Annihilation Conquest, and even the Thanos Imperative comics, with villains like Annihilus, who will probably be the main villain of the story, Ultron 2.0 who could gather the phalanx, leading to the creation of the Annihilation Conquest Guardians, then along with Annihilus we could see the introduction of the Super Scroll, who is one of the Fantastic Four's main villains, and we're getting the Secret Invasion storyline soon, which would fit in perfectly with the Scroll Invasion. So finally after a couple years and a few different stories told between movies and Disney Plus shows, we'll see a new version of the Guardians that's more powerful than any team ever assembled, the Annihilators. With the likes of Quasar, Beta Ray Bill, the Silver Surfer, Gladiator, Nova, and even some members from the Annihilation Conquest storyline like Phyla Vell and Wraith, and it could even be led by Chris Pratt's Star-Lord, but it obviously depends on what happens to him in the future. Plus. To corroborate this theory, on April 30th, you see I told you I've had this theory for a while, Roger Wardell, a well-known leaker and industry insider, said that Nobilis was the main reason why the Thor vs Thor scene was removed from Endgame, and that the Annihilators will replace the Guardians in the future of the cosmic MCU. However, what's more important is what we recently learned a couple days ago from Mikey Sutton. He said both Nova and Adam Warlock will be a huge part of the movie, but that it won't be their MCU debut, meaning that both Nova and Adam Warlock, who've been heavily rumored to be coming soon, and fans have been wanting to see them forever, will appear in movies prior to the Annihilation film. It's also claimed that Nova and Adam Warlock will team up with other MCU cosmic characters, such as Captain Marvel, Moondragon, and Quasar to take on Annihilus, Galactus, and Terex the Tamer. But it could also eventually lead to the introduction and incorporation of all the other previously mentioned characters. And finally, before I let you go, for those of you who aren't familiar with Nobilis and might be interested, he was created by the High Evolutionary from Thor's cells, granting him similar powers to the God of Thunder. Now Nobilis being introduced in Guardians 3 makes sense, as we know that the High Evolutionary will play a major role in Rocket's story, but with all the characters said to be in the movie, we'll have to see how they manage them all, and what role he'll play in the future of the MCU with Thor and possibly the Asgardians of the galaxy. So let me know what you guys think about all this. If we do see the Annihilators, who would you like to see become part of the team? Do you want the original members from the comics, or do you want a mashup of different heroes? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.